Hey guys, what's up? So just wanted to do a quick video today on the importance of carbs for your training. So I posted about this recently on my social media page. You can have a quick look if you want to, but I thought I would just break it down further because as always, so many people, when they tend to make tweaks to their diets, um, one of the first things to go is carbs. Now, depending on who you are, what kind of activities you're doing, what kind of training you're doing, that might not really affect you, but it could also slightly impact your performance, your training, how you feel, and just your energy overall. Overall. So just the easiest way to explain it without going into too much detail is just let's take bread as an example. So when you eat your bread, obviously you know, bread goes into your digestive system and then it gets broken down into sugar, right? That's basically what carbs are. So just a refresher, remember protein is four calories per gram and so is carbs, whereas fats is, is nine calories per gram and then alcohol is around seven, okay? So when we digest that bread, right? It gets broken down into its simplest form, which we're going to call glucose. Now, glucose is one of different types of sugars. So you got like your glucose, your fructose, which is usually found more in kind of like types of fruit. Um, you might have sucrose and then you've got all sorts of different ones, right? And these are essentially just kind of like the molecule, how it's made up. And that's why we call it that. But we don't have to really worry about it because at the end of the day, what will usually happen is the body will basically try to get glucose on its own either by making it in the body if you don't have enough of it or just from the food you eat, right? So that bread's broken down, we get glucose, and then from that point, what happens is the glucose, usually some of it will just float around through your system, right, in the bloodstream because naturally we're doing stuff all day, just me talking, me moving, right? My brain obviously needs to kind of be fed constantly um, and get that fuel. So that's sometimes what's gonna happen with that glucose. And then the other thing that's gonna happen is that our body's gonna store it, so this is where you probably hear of like insulin and things like that before, uh, but for the most part, right, this, that kind of spare sugar, glucose in this case, we're gonna store it. We're gonna store it in the liver and we're gonna store it in the muscle. Now, why does this all matter? Well, because when we're doing exercise, right, especially when we're doing like, you know, submaximal to max exercise, so what does that look like? Let's say if you're doing some kind of HIIT training, if you're doing our classes, you know, um, you know, twice a week, especially towards the end when it starts getting pretty difficult, submax is anywhere like around 70% plus of, you know, your max effort. So if you're doing a 100 meters sprint, that's max effort. If you're doing anything basically that lasts between 30 seconds up to two minutes, we're going to be using a lot of our sugar, right? To supply that energy because our muscles need to fire, right? We need to get loads of kind of muscle contractions. We need to have a lot of things happening um, in that short period of time. And that usually is fueled by sugar. So that's kind of why it's really, really important. So if you're somebody who's doing like weightlifting, if you're somebody who's sprinting, you're somebody who's, you know, doing anything fairly intense between 30 seconds and two minutes, we use sugar to pretty much fuel most of that, right? Now, again, without going into too much detail, we have three energy systems in the body, right? The first one is what we call the PCR system. So we're just gonna call it the PCR system, stands for the phosphagen system. This usually lasts between zero to 15-ish seconds, right? Even less, some people would argue. And this is like this short burst of energy that we just kind of provide our body uh, but it really, really runs out quickly, right? Which is then why we then have our second energy system, which is gonna be the glycolysis system, which is that kind of like 15, 30 second mark to two minute, which is mostly gonna be supplied by the sugar in our muscle, which we've been storing as form of glycogen. So glycogen, just think of it as like big pockets of sugar. So you're basically just depositing money in the bank so that you can withdraw it a different day, right? So that's what's happening. We're taking that sugar from the glycogen store in the muscle. So let's say you're using your legs in a workout. Well, naturally that's where it's gonna come from. Maybe you might be using your chest or your arms, right? So as you can see, we're using that. And then sometimes if we keep going and we really need to, we'll even start using some of that sugar that's been stored in the liver, again, as that glycogen pocket. So 30 seconds to two minutes, high intensity kind of work, right? 70% plus is pretty much where we're gonna be using all that sugar. And then what happens at the end of the workout, it's like anything else, most people are gonna take a protein shake with them. They're gonna have that after their workout because they wanna start recovering and repairing, which is awesome. But the same thing kind of goes with your carbs, right? With your sugar, with your glycogen. So we need to kind of ingest those carbs because like anything else, your body is becoming more efficient. It wants to store maybe a little bit more for the next workout because it knows, it knows what's coming. So it's just to give you a bit of an idea of 
yes, obviously a lot of people tend to cut their carbs when they're in a diet or when they're trying to maintain kind of a certain calorie deficit, but just remember that we still need a good amount of carbs in our diet to fuel our performance, especially if we're doing fairly intense work. And obviously if you go past that two minute mark, so let's say we start looking at you know, longer distance runs, uh, we start looking at people who are doing marathons and all that kind of stuff and more endurance work. Well, again, carbs are still a part of that energy supply. And that's why you'll see a lot of people do carb loading and all these kind of different things when they're trying to do more ultra endurance events. So again, carbs are still gonna be a big factor um, when it comes to those larger kind of longer duration um, kind of events. So hopefully that makes sense. So in a nutshell, all I would say is if you're somebody who's doing kind of like low intensity workouts, probably don't have to worry too, too much about your carb intake. Obviously still good to get some carbs in because most people like them and you're not gonna wanna restrict everything you like. Uh, but if you're somebody who's doing, you know, some classes every now and then, you're getting a good sweat on, you're doing a lot of like high intensity movements, if you're weightlifting, if you're playing sports, basketball, football, you name it, right? Like you're gonna need that type of um, kind of sugar uh, in terms of, you know, what you're ingesting on a day-to-day -day basis to really help you one, fuel your performance, recover after, supply those kind of glycogen stores, which remember is just like basically putting money back in the bank after you've taken it out. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, just let us know, but remember, Carbs aren't the devil. It's actually really important to get them in. And you'd be surprised how many people we used to get in the gym when we're doing classes early, early morning that haven't had any food. Maybe they haven't had really a big carb dinner on the night before. They come in during the session. They feel super, super kind of dizzy. They end up basically on the floor. and We're giving them leucozades and stuff because they just don't have that sugar, right? They had no energy whatsoever. And then they've gone full tilt and they're dead, right? They just don't feel good. So hopefully that makes sense. Any questions, let us know.